My love of pink started very young. I think I've always loved a very feminine and pastel and like girly palette. My grandparents were missionaries in the 50s in Tokyo. My mom grew up there and then subsequently so did I. I would go to Harajuku on the weekends and see all the like really stylish ladies, especially in their um, like Lolita, Japanese Lolita fashion, which gear is very pink heavy. I have been buying and collecting pink things for a long time. It's not always even intentional, it's just that I am so drawn to pink that I will see something and want to buy it because it's pink. So I actually have to stop and ask myself, do I really like this or is it just that it's pink? One of my most impractical pink purchases was my couch, which is a very pale pink velvet couch, which for obvious reasons is hard to keep clean, but I just love it so much and I couldn't resist. I'm a very outspoken person, so often in very like masculine spheres where I might be talked over, I get pushback because the expectation is that because I look the way that I do and I'm very pink, they expect, you know, a very docile young lady who speaks when spoken to. I really enjoy breaking that stereotype. Pink as an unserious color, I think just comes down to our ideas that anything feminine is frivolous and unserious. Outside of my love of pink, I'm a lace historian, which what could be more feminine and frivolous and useless than lace? So I think I'm specifically very drawn to things that are seen as unserious, that are seen as unimportant because they're not coded as masculine. I would probably buy everything in pink if I could, but there's, you know, my husband even has a limit, so. <laughs>